Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt here from Matt's Great World. And today, I'm gonna be giving you my reaction and my thoughts on Skillet's latest single, Psycho In My Head, off of their deluxe album, Dominion, Day of Destiny. Now, whew, I was not exactly impressed with this song at first, but I kinda had to sit with it a little bit and I wasn't impressed still. And well, as you guys are gonna see over the course of this video, that I'm gonna have my reasons why I didn't like it at first. And you're gonna see why I kind of like it a little bit more now. And I'll give you the reasons why my opinion, you know, swayed from the thumbs down position. Um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. So to start off with the track itself, it starts out with a very heavy guitar riff uh, and it grabs your attention right away. And when I first heard it, I was like, okay, they're gonna be a little bit heavier this time. They're gonna be a little bit more aggressive. Uh, it definitely sounded like that's what they were going for when I just listened to it on my phone, but it just, it just sounded like it was just the vocals and maybe the guitars. Uh, or the drums in like the very back of the mix and it was the vocals that were mostly driving it forward other than that it sounded like just dead air to me to be completely honest it sounded like it was just static like the it was it almost sounded like John Cooper was singing a cappella to something um, which didn't really impress me all that much and I tried listening to the lyrics and they kind of made sense from, you know, okay, this is something that Skillet has uh, touched on before in some sense, um, but it just, <laughs> it, it really did not impress me at all at first. And I listened to it about four or five times, you know, just on my phone or on my iPad or on my, on my computer. And it just, it just didn't really vibe with me for whatever reason. And I just, I just, I was unimpressed to say the least. And I'm going to be completely honest. It was underwhelming at first. Now, here's where everything kind of flips on its head with this track. And what really kind of changed my mind about it was I put some headphones on when we were coming home from dinner uh, tonight and, you know, <laughs> uh, I was absolutely blown away by the song. And I just kind of sat there going, hold on, was this really all I needed to do this entire time? This is a headphones track. And I was not expecting that. I'm gonna be completely honest with you right now. I was not, expecting that and I was really quite surprised in a good way because it kind of opened up uh, a new door for me I guess you could say and it just kind of flipped the song on its head and really gave me a new perspective on the track itself and I really do enjoy it a lot now I mean it's definitely one of those tracks where you can't just listen to the audio uh, without having headphones on because that's where it really kind of gets condensed. And it's it's definitely a track you can definitely jam out to overall. Now, in terms of what I think the song means, like I said before, it's definitely a topic that I think um, uh, Skillet has talked about before in multiple different ways, uh, lyrically. And... Um, what 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 it's talking about is someone who's got these voices in their head and they're like something's going on inside their head or they're just full of doubt and they're like I don't know what to do I don't know if I'm insane I don't know if I'm just de like going through a rough patch or what it's just a sense of confusion and loss and being lost and hopeless and stuff like that um which Again, Skillet has talked about ad nauseum. It doesn't exactly feel like repetition because they are changing up the sound uh, with each and every 
time they bring it around. And I think that they know that they're being a little repetitious, but at the same time, not at the same time. Uh, but, you know, message aside, this is definitely a track that um, can, is, it, it's a slapper. It's a good one. It's definitely one I'd be willing to headbang out to in the car all, all day long. But, of course, you know, just having it play on YouTube or whatever kind of... It, it's underwhelming without the headphones. So I think that does kind of knock down the score a little bit. Overall, it's a good track. The repetition and uh, um, uh, the the lack of good audio quality when it doesn't come to the... without the headphones just kind of does really doesn't do it for me. Uh, but some of the positives are, when I did listen to it with my headphones on, the guitars were killer. Seth uh, Morrison and Corey Cooper, they hit it out of the park. The drums also really were fantastic. Everyone's going on all cylinders here. And I also heard some screams from John Cooper in the background, which I thought were nice. It was a good touch. And that definitely gives it... A a bit of a heavier, more darker edge, and it's definitely a darker version of Skillet than what I'm, than what I've heard. I am not completely privy to a lot of their older stuff where they were screaming a lot more, um, but yeah, this is a great modern Skillet track, and I can't wait for the next time I just put my headphones on and listen to this track. It's a good one. So for my overall rating, uh, I've kind of been going back and forth on this, but it's a solid track. There are some things about it that kind of drag it down a little bit, but other than that, I mean, this is overall a very, very solid track. Not bad, not great, but it is solid, so I'm gonna give it a rating of six out of 10. So yeah, uh, argue with me all you want down in the comments. I am a big Skillet fan, I love their music. Um, and I, I just love that they've been championing the fact that they write about their uh, religion and they don't give a crap when anybody else says. They're like, we're just going to do this, and it's worked. Um, uh, and they've been doing it for 25 years now, and they're still going strong. So keep it up, John and company. So that's where I'm going, going to leave you guys for now. Uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, to this track review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, I will leave a link to the song itself down in the uh, description. So if you want to check it out, um, feel free to do so. And, I'll, and I would recommend listening with headphones because I feel like that's the best way to get the full experience. But other than that, I've got nothing left to say. So stay warm, stay happy, stay safe. And it's never goodbye. It's just till next time. All right, guys. See you tomorrow.